Hello everyone, Dolphin, Dolphin Oracle here, taking a look at Synaptic Package Manager. Now I've already started Synaptic, but you can find it in the Annex Control Center under System and Manage Packages, or it's also available in the menu under Applications and Preferences. But what Synaptic is going to let you do is install whatever software you want from the pre-configured um, uh, repositories. You can set, you can look, you can use Ant Synaptic to look at what repositories are enabled. And you can look here, we are using the stable Antix repository, we are using the Debian Wheezy or stable uh, Debian repository, and we're also using the uh, Debian Wheezy updates uh, repository. There's some others here that are in the file. Oh, I've also got deb.multimedia.org enabled. Uh, that's good if you want to install something like libdvd. And I've got VirtualBox uh, repository enabled as well. Um, I'm actually going to unenable deb.multimedia.org. I, I bring this up because you, it's it's unabled by default, so if you haven't enabled it, don't worry about it. But if you did enable it, if you do a system upgrade, um, things could go hairy with deb.multimedia.org. They they they're a little they're a little not stable enough for my blood to be called stable in Wheezy. Anyway, when you make make a change to the repositories, you have to click reload to reload all the package information. It doesn't take too long if you have a decent internet connection. So after the package is reloaded, you can search. Now, the one thing I will say about Antix, I mean about Synaptic, is it's very difficult to just like browse and find out what you're looking for. Uh, but if you know, like for instance, you know that you want to use VLC as your multimedia player, while well, you type in VLC into the filter bar, and there it is, right at the top of the list, VLC. Do a right click and mark it for installation. It'll list out everything that it needs to do to install a package. In this case, I've got to do a bunch of upgrading and a bunch of... Um, uh, new libraries and it'll tell you um, how much if you look down at the bottom here it'll tell you 45 packages 48 to install upgrade zero remove and it'll use 115 megabytes and that's to bring down the VLC package I'm not going to update it uh, install it right now because that's kind of beside the point but it'll go it'll download everything it'll set it up when you're done with, some, with doing that you come over here to update menu click that and then it'll show up in your menu. Now let's say though that you want to remove a package. Well you can do that too. Let's say I want to remove, we have a package called XArchiver and I'm going to get rid of it. Mark it for removal and it, ah, see it's only going to remove that one package. If there were other things that, it, that depended on it, it would remove those as well. If I remove that package, it'll be gone from the system no changes happen until you click apply is it as easy as going out on the internet and download an install file like from Windows well maybe not but on the other hand I never have to search for a website and figure out if that website's good or not Debian's already done the work for us uh, and Annex has already done the work for us the, what, what files that are available in repos are checked out they're maintained and they're available for our use and they're all free. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to annex.mepis.org for or drop us a post at annex.freeforms.org. It's the Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.